So this is to accommodate the request or question of Durian Lang channel. At what time after 2 o'clock will the angle between the hands of the clock be bisected by the line connecting the center and the 3 o'clock mark? Now, I presented to you the Padilla's formula in the previous post. Also, the graphical representation of this or interpretation of this, the Padilla's clock chart. And the bookie solution is the one that you will find in all textbooks. Now, the Padilla's formula is a very fast, very convenient formula in solving clock problems. But I recommend it only if only one unknown is in the equation. There are three variables there. M, H, and this angle. If there are two unknowns, then I won't recommend it. For example, at what time after 2 o'clock? So we are sure that the answer is a las dos... Pasado. So, this is the R and this is the M. Right? So, this is your H. So, we know that H is 2. We do not know M. And if it is together, this is 0. If it is opposite, this is 180. If it is being required at what time after 2 o'clock, will they be at 60 degrees angle? This is 60. But this one is not given. At what time after 2 o'clock will the angle between them, the R and the minute hand, be bisected by the line connecting the center and the 3 o'clock mark? So this one is the bisector. It is past 2 o'clock. Meaning, if the R hand is here, the minute hand will be here. And this angle between them is bisected by this. Meaning bisected this angle and this angle are equal. Right? So if this is theta, this is also theta. Let me put the label outside here. So this is theta. This is also theta. Okay? What is that angle? This is 2 theta. If I know 2 theta, that is this value, then I can readily solve M by Padilla's formula. The problem is, this is unknown. So in this situation, we will use the conventional solution. So yung standard equation, the one that you will find in all books, with different or varying presentation is this. But this is the presentation in my book, Board Exam Guide in Mathematics. So, the distance traveled by the R hand is 112 that of the minute hand. H is M over 12. This is a given fact that R hand travels only 112 that of the minute hand. If second hand is involved, then S is going to be 60 times the distance traveled by the minute hand. However, if you use the standard equation, I recommend you to use unit of minutes. In here, we are using degrees, which when you solve, because of the conversion brought about by 2 over 11, the answer in M is already in minutes. But here, using the, those equations, we will be using directly unit of minutes. What do I mean? This is it. So this is past 2 o'clock. The reference time is 2 o'clock. At 2 o'clock, the R hand points to 2 while this minute hand points to 12. Okay? From 2 o'clock to this position, the R hand travels from here to here. 
So from here to here, this is going to be your H. Now, from 2 o'clock to this required time, the minute hand travels from here to here. So from here to here, this is your M. And this is what we want to solve. Right? But our H here is equal to M over 12. Right? The distance traveled by the R hand is 112 of the minute hand always. Right? Now, remember that this is 5 minutes. 5 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes. So this is 15 minutes, right? Since this is 5 minutes, your theta is 5 minutes minus this, minus m over 12, right? Let me write now the equation. So this is also theta, which is 5 minus m over 12. So writing our key equation, the key equation in the standard formula begins with 12. From here to here is 15 minutes. 15 minutes plus theta is equal to M. Remember that we are solving M. But what is theta again? Theta is 5 minutes minus M over 12 is equal to M. This is minutes, this is minutes, this is minutes. So solving our M from this equation, so this is 18.46. So therefore, this time is alas dos M. This is 8. 46 to 1846 did you get this so if you want really to solve using padilla's formula you need to solve for theta first theta must be in degrees so look this one our key equation in degrees will be this one 90 degrees plus theta is equal to M. But what is theta? Theta is, this is in degrees. 30 degrees minus M over 12. So 90 degrees plus 30 minus M over 12. This is in degrees. This is in degrees. This is in degrees okay so the m here in degrees is equal to 110.77 degrees and our theta is equal to 30 degrees minus m over 12 and this is 20 Point seventy seven degrees. So the angle between them at the required time is 2 theta. So this is 2 theta. So by Padilla's formula, your M is 2 over 11. H is after 2 o'clock. So this is 2 times 30. So that is 60 plus or minus 2 theta. So, 2 theta is equal to 41.54 degrees. So, this is 41.54 degrees. Gets? Okay. So, there will be two values here. So, if this is plus, you'll get 18.46. And the other is, if this is minus... This is 3.36 minutes. And this is not possible. Right? You get it? Okay. 
So, because it is just 336, it's here. Right? So, th this will not be meeting our equation. Okay? So, therefore, the answer is 18.46. So, the time is alas dos, 18.46. So, that is the reason why I don't recommend Padilla's formula when there are two unknowns in the equation. Because in solving the other unknown, you will still use the conventional formula. Using the conventional formula, I really recommend use unit of minutes so that the answer will be directly in minutes. You follow? You get it. So if you just have any question, don't hesitate to send us the questions via the comment section. So I will try to make a video or try to answer your questions by releasing videos of the solution to that problem. So hope I was able to help you in this. And Mr. Dorian Lang, finally I already had made a video to answer or to address your question. So see you.